The rapper Lil Wayne has been arrested this week and he's facing federal firearms charges for being a felon in possession of a firearm. And his attorney is already throwing out Supreme Court Justice Amy Coney Barrett's opinion in a case that has the anti-gun world in a stir. What do I mean? Sit by and watch this episode of Guns and Gadgets. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. If it's good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, and it happens to involve the Second Amendment, you'll find that information here on Guns and Gadgets. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already to stay in the know. And let's talk about this one. So Lil Wayne is a very popular rap artist. He's, his real name is Dwayne Carter. I've happened to meet him several times when I lived and worked in New Orleans. He's from New Orleans as well. And uh, he was arrested uh, this week stemming from charges back in December when uh, a gold-plated firearm was discovered in his luggage on his private jet. Now, I don't have the police report, and I don't know why they searched Wheezy's uh, private jet, but previously, uh, Lil Wayne was arrested in 2007 and charged with having a uh, firearm on his tour bus. That ended up getting him one year in Rikers uh, in New York. He uh, served that in 2010, and he also had issues with drug charges in Arizona back in 2008. Now, if you've been following the last couple months leading up to the election, Lil Wayne actually endorsed President Trump for this election, mainly because of his work on criminal justice reform. Now he's hoping that an opinion published by uh, Trump's newest appointee to the Supreme Court, Amy Coney Barrett, could help him in this situation. Now, I've covered this case previously when we were talking about, uh, Judge, at the time, Judge Amy Coney Barrett, just prior to her appointment as a nominee, but she opined in the uh, minority in a decision where a uh, person lo had lost his Second Amendment rights due to mail fraud that surrounded orthotics. So he lost his rights because of a nonviolent felony. And that was the crux of now Justice Amy Coney Barrett's opinion that the founders never intended for anybody to lose their rights for things that were not violent. So this gentleman who, mail fraud is nonviolent, she thought that he shouldn't lose his rights uh, as a felon uh, to possess firearms. And that was the Cantor case that you heard so much on uh, during the Senate hearings on Justice Amy Coney Barrett. So I just found it interesting that we have uh, somebody who was charged with being a felon in possession of a firearm immediately going to uh, what the Senate was so concerned about, the, the Democrats in the Senate, the anti-gunners. They were so concerned about her Cantor decision. Here it is uh, being thrown out there as a defense already in a case of a high profile individual. So will this play out in court? Will it be settled? Nobody knows. We'll just have to wait and see. But wouldn't it be interesting if Lil Wayne fought this all the way to the Supreme Court and in front of Justice Amy Coney Barrett, she was confronted with a decision that she opined? That would be it, that would be awesome. That's like poetic justice. So we'll see what happens with this. I just thought I'd bring it to your attention. Ladies and gentlemen, if you found this interesting in any way, please smash the thumbs up button, stomp on the subscribe button, and share this with everybody you know, especially anyone who listens to Lil Wayne. Thank you for your time. I am very humbled to do, do this for you every day, uh, and it is my hope that this continues. And uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.